Hello everyone, this is Mukundan Raghavan. In this video, we are going to see the label locators, placeholder locator, and alternative text locators. Before getting into this locator, we will visualize how it looks like. If you see the sample website in front of you, you can clearly see there are some input fields which has the label username and email. When it is coming in front of any input field, that will be considered as a label because this label is tagged to that input field. Whereas playwright test example could be the best example for the text content. Apart from that, in the input boxes, you will have some content to suggest the end user what has to be entered in this field. This is called placeholder. As per the username, enter your username is the placeholder. Apart from that, we might have the different images. As you see here, there is an image for the playwright. However, in some scenarios, this image may not load for the different reasons, such as the internet speed or the image itself corrupted. If the image is corrupted, then there should be alternative text to represent actually what is the logo all is about. So for that reason, developer should be giving some alternative text in case of if this image is not visible to the end user. So now we have understood what is label, what is placeholder, and what is alternative text, and when it will be displayed. Let's see some sample code here. For example, it will be very simple, page.getbyLabelText, username, and the same for placeholder get by placeholder and you can give the placeholder. However, we need to check the behavior of the UI because sometimes this placeholder might change when user clicks or some other actions happen in the same page. If the placeholder is always there, then you can use the placeholder. Then alternative text, sometimes you need to click on the image. So even though this alternative text is not visible to the end user, you can use this alternative text to click on the image rather than clicking on the anywhere on the page based on the coordinate. So now we have understood this simple code snippets. Let's try to understand the demo. Here you can see the same sample website and the equivalent index.html. If you see here, for example, label and input, username has the label and here you can see it is for the input username. So the ID is username. So it will be used for this. The same label for email will be having the email and image tag. It has the image ID and source. So this is where the input image will be taken. Sometime it will be in the same project. Sometime it can be the online image, which means that you even you might have the URL for that image. In any case, if this image is not loaded properly, then the alternative text ALT will be showed. For example, here you can see it is showing the image properly because we have the same image file here, playwright-logo.svg. In case just this image is corrupted, just to simulate that I am adding some dummy content here. Let's say P and save it. Now this image tag is looking for the file name starts with T playwright. However, we don't have any file like that. If we go to the sample here, you can see the image is corrupted or not able to load, then it will show the logo, playwright logo. That is the alternative text we have mentioned for the same index.html. So by using this, you will come to know what is actually the image is all about. It should be meaningful to the user. Now here we have the simple sample test case where it uses the get by label get by placeholder, get by alternative text. Let's try to execute and see the output. So it's working fine because we have everything correctly and it has entered everything and we can see that. So let's summarize what we have seen. We have seen about the get by label, get by placeholder, get by alternative text. Get by label will be the label for the input fields, whereas get by placeholder will be giving the meaningful message inside the input box and get by alternative text uses the alternative text in case if the image is not loaded properly and that will be the alternative attribute which is mentioned inside the image. So this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.